Yo, what's up everybody? Tech King Mike back with another video for you guys. And today we are going to be going over the Binks Armor Air for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, this case is going to be one of the top carbon fiber cases that you can get for your phone. So as always, let's take a look around the packaging and see what we get. So we see since 2008, Binks has been doing their thing since 2008. We also have the 6000D Giggity. 6000D built with DuPont Kevlar. Also it has magnetic, which means that it does have MagSafe on this case. Designed for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, as you can see. Sorry for the glare from my light. New setup, working on getting the lighting better, but hope you guys like it. Also, we have over here on the side, impact resistant, uh, enhanced impact resistance, and we also have thin and light phone case protective. Now on the back here, built with DuPont Kevlar, uh, Kevlar, new definition of phone protection. So pretty much just some more branding and some more information on the back. Let's go on ahead and get into it and see what we get. Got a little pull tab down here on the bottom. So you just want to pull that off and then you want to just open it right on up. And as you can see, this is going to be your case. Now I'm going to do my best not to actually touch the case just yet because, you know, I try to keep my hands moisturized and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but it is, it, these things get greasy, okay? These things get greasy. Now, if you if you just finished eating some chicken or, you know, if you just finished eating a pizza, a good burger or something like that, this is going to show it, okay? This is going to show it. But that's pretty much it for the packaging. You don't really get anything else, so we'll just toss that off to the side. We're done with that. Now, let's go on ahead and let's get into the case itself. Now, before we attach the case, let's take a look around it and see what we get. So, as you can see, we do have that metal ring around the camera i'm glad that it's not just one big open cutout they did give us some definition on the camera cutout would have loved to seen the individual spaces for each one but i'll take this this looks nice as you can see at the top here we are fully covered at the top have a few slits here and that's just to allow it to kind of pop open and close on the foot on the case or on the phone itself you got your cutout for your microphone hole at the top on the side you got your cutout for your buttons Obviously nothing on the other side, which is good. There's no need, no need for it to be open over here. And then on the bottom, we have our S Pen cutout. Okay. We have our S Pen cutout, microphone cutout, USB C cutout, and plenty wide, so you should be able to use any of those big cables like the ones that have like the digital display, stuff like that. And we have our other corner over here. Now it does look like my case has a little bit of a deformity on the side there. Let's see if we can get that on camera here for you guys. Looks like it has a little bit of a deformity there. So but it's nothing that's going to bother me. I don't really have an issue with that, but I may, you know, reach out to banks or get on Amazon and see if I can get a replacement for it. So, and as you can see on the inside as well, we do have our MagSafe ring. So that is also a nice feature to have. And let's go ahead and pop the S24 Ultra in it. Check out that violet color. Woo, love that color. Now, I always go camera first, so we'll put it in at the top. Okay, top inserted, and then we'll just slide the bottom in. Now, one thing I have noticed with the, the S Pen this year is that it seems like it sticks out a little bit further than normal, like in the past, but hey, might just be me. All right, so taking a look around the case, first things first, as you can see, first things first, let me wipe this screen off for you guys, because my goodness, you guys do not need to be seeing all of these fingerprints on this screen. That's what you didn't come here for. You came here to see a beautiful device and some good cases. So. Taking a look around the device, as you can see, there is zero lip, okay? No lippage on this case, no lippage whatsoever. But that's not a bad thing. This case is meant for the minimalist, okay? This is meant to be the sleek, slim, you just want something to protect the back of your phone and that's it. You don't really care about you know, that extra stuff. And I like it, I actually, do, I actually do like it. Now, I'm more of a person that enjoys having you know, um, the actual lip around the phone, you know, I like to have the drop protection, but this is a good case for like, say, I want to step out, go out and have a good time with the family or whatever, and just want to keep something nice and simple. This is the case for that. As you can see, this is what your camera cutout is going to look like. I think it looks really good to me. Like I said, it looks really nice. I would have preferred it to be individual camera rings, kind of like how it is on the speaking Enzo. But as a matter of fact, let me grab the Enzo here for a comparison. So let's see if we can get a comparison of the Enzo here so you guys can see just exactly how close and how similar the two of them are to each other. Now, I just finished a video on the Enzo, and 
I mean, I'm, 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 I won't spoil too much, but I'll just say I wasn't really that impressed. And compared to this one, I'm definitely feeling, the, feeling this a lot better. I would even go so far as to say compared to the Pataka here, which, of course, that video will be coming out as well here soon. But the Pataka is another good example of what I mean. Okay? Check out how the Pataka has the camera cutouts already there, just like the Spigen. But this looks really good. I, I got to say, this looks really good. Of these three... So far, of these three, this one has the most woven texture of a carbon fiber case, but this just feels the best. I think the Banks just really did it for me this year when it comes to the actual feel of the case and just how it looks and everything on the phone. I mean, just just looks, this just looks incredible. Personally, this just looks incredible. So we'll slide these guys out of the way. We don't really care about them anymore, so we'll just get them out of the way. All right, guys, so now that we've got those other cases out of the way, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up and focus on this one here. Sorry for that cut. Had a little bit of technical difficulties, but bottom line, this is probably my favorite thin and minimal case for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I think this is going to be one that's going to definitely stay in my rotation. Um, I'm getting to the point with these cases where I'm starting to take multiple cases with me because you just never know how you're going to feel. One day you may want to be thin and minimal. The next day you may want to be carbon fiber, but you may want to have a little bit more protection around the actual device itself. But this one just feels really damn good. Like I, I cannot lie to you. This just feels really damn good. Banks did a great job with this case, and hopefully, you know, we can continue to get improvements. I know the MagSafe, I've had, I've heard some people say that the MagSafe is not the best as far as, like, the location. Um, I do not have an actual MagSafe charger available to test this, unfortunately, but I promise you guys I will get one, and we will start checking MagSafe when it comes to these cases. But in the meantime, this is going to be the Banks armor air for the galaxy s24 ultra if you guys like this case let me know down below in the comments and uh let me know if you're interested in picking one of these up there will be a link in the description if you are and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will catch you guys in the next one peace